What is up, my my friends? It is Cyclopop. I'm also known as Connor. Now, Dallas and Bro Dallas and the Bros has actually inspired me to do this. Dallas and the Bros has inspired me to do something cool. I'm going to talk about my four injuries for in this video. And no, there will not be a part two. Yeah, there's not going to be a part two. Alright. So you should go check out his channel, subscribe to him maybe, back and subscribe to him and me. Click that notification for notification bell for newer videos from me. And him too. If you want. Alright, let's get into the first one. The first one. Oh, okay, so the worst one, I'm going to save it for last. Just like he did. Um, so I actually Dallas, if you're watching this right now, I actually did get a rock stuck in my leg too. But it wasn't my kneecap. It wasn't my kneecap. It was like right here, my leg. If you look closely enough, you'll see like a scar. Yeah, I yeah, you can see it. And so that's where I I got a like so I was just like jumping around and jumping off and on the sidewalk and there was rocks like crumbled rocks and then I tripped and a a rock went to my leg and then went into my leg and then I had it and then it went stuck and it was stuck in there for five days until until my stepdad finally took it out. And so, but it left a scar. So yeah, you already saw that scar. Now the second one. This is kind of embarrassing. I'm ashamed of myself for it. So I was being dumb when I was, I was a little kid at the time. So I was being a dumb kid and I was trying to cut a... Sh a, a pepper shaker with the charaded knife and I cut my finger and there's blood. It was like a bubble of blood. There was no bleeding out, but I was crying. And then there's the third one. Um, so, there's this time that I was like it was when I was super little, so tiny, little enough to be able to go to Inside Out, that place, that indoor park, where only little kids could go. Yeah, I was at, at that age, that type of age, and I went there, and I went on the bouncy house, and you know how it's un it's normal for people to do to like bend their knee like this. Well, I actually bent it backwards too far when I was bouncing on it. So, I bent it and I was crying so hard. And then my mom had to go get it, get me, because it was so terrible. Yeah, it was, there was no bleeding, but it was painful. And then there was a time when um, I broke my finger, my pointer finger. So, I was... I was... Being a dumb little kid, um, touching tires, weirdly, <laughs> and then the tires started, and then I decided to be a dumb little kid, and I glued my finger to it, and then it almost crushed it completely, but, but on the nick of time, my dad, my stepdad, he stopped it. And so I was like, ooh, it was bleeding. Plus there's like these um, sharp rocks on the ground that I pounded my finger into. Pound it. And then that made it start bleeding right here. And then it would be broken like this kind of. And I was screaming in pain. Blood everywhere. And then we had to go to the hospital to to fix it and then they just i had to, i couldn't use my finger 
It was like it wasn't it wasn't even there. It was like it wasn't even there. But then eventually I could use it again, see? Alright. And then there's more. I said I wouldn't do more than four, but just like Dallas, I'm gonna do more. I lied. Alright, so four for number four, we have um so here's what happened. Sorry, I just darn it. What was it? What was that from? Oh, I can't remember my injuries. I had so much. Well, here's one of them. So, I was playing on the play structure just like Dallas's video. He cut his head, but I actually cut my my chin like a scar like this scar you if you look close enough you'll like see it but it's too blurry to see so like i i accidentally like i was looking up to my friend because he was like hey look at me and then i'm like and then i was too close to the play structure and there was like a sharp part of it so it cut my chin like that when i was scraping it scraped open my chin when I was looking up and I started crying in pain and then blood came out everywhere <laughs> yeah oh wait now I remember the fifth one all right all right sorry but the fourth one was a lie anyway the fourth one the real fourth one is when actually I was at my I lived with my stepmom because my mom didn't have a house at the time she couldn't avoid, afford one so we stayed at my stepmom's and actually i was like looking down at my sister because we both had a, we both shared a bunk bed and then i looked down and i was wrapped up in like a roof roof blanket that's what i called it but it wasn't really one it was just a blanket covered in red and dogs and spotted dogs and then i was like a burrito in it and then i slightly slided off off the bed on the off the top bunk and there was no little wooden fence to guard me from it so i just slid off and then i and then there was a green chair green tiny chair you know those kid chairs it i hit my eye on it right here i hit it and and then there's like a huge huge bruise on it and that really hurt because I just fell from like two feet and then they go to the hospital and tell me and the doctor tell me, tells me that's fine just the little stuff all right the sixth one Ooh. this is the last one guys this is the last one are you guys ready for this? Yeah. So, you can't see it because it's healed now. Because in Dallas's video, if you watch his, you can see you. He says a scar on his eye was there, and but it, he has a type that like goes away and doesn't show anymore. And good riddance for that too. And there's like a scar here. You you see white, right? Yeah, you see right. And that's where my scar is. So I had a scar right here. Either right here or right here. Right here I had a patch, a band a big white band-aid. And then right here. I had stitches. Either right here or right here. And right here. But I just had a patch, a 